Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all my viewers all over the world. Wherever you are watching me from, I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And I also welcome the new viewers also. You are welcome. As usual, I want you to do me a favor by looking down below your phone, you see a red button. You press that red button to subscribe. As you are subscribing, the YouTube will be notifying you of my new video. So I will give you some few seconds to do that. You will see a red button below. Please press that red button. God bless you. Have you done that? Thank you very much. I love you, and God loves you better. Thank you. Now let's go straight to what we have today. Our topic today is titled, My Hidden Solution. My Hidden Solution, which means there's a solution that is hidden, which is unseen. If seen, then your problems are over. But something has covered it, which makes you not to look at it or to see it. It is being hidden. That's the reason we are still passing through this problem you are passing through is because the solution by which you will get your breakthrough is hidden from you. Now, I want to go through some set of people on this topic. And this topic will be going for round four. That is part one, part two, part three, and part four. And this one you are watching now is part one. So we're having the part one, the part two, the part three, and the part four. Please don't miss any of the four parts because you don't know where your solution is hidden from. It could be in part one, part two, part three, part four, that you will see the solution to your problems. God bless you. Now, in this part one, we'll be talking about some set of people that are born from April 20 to May 20. So this part one is for them only. April 20 to May 20, and those born in August 23 to September 22. Also those born in December 22 to January 19. Those sort of people are the owner of these programs and they will benefit from it. Please, you are welcome on board. My names are, once again, Prophet Olorondare Raphael, founder of Mountain of Renewal and Upliftment, Ogun State in Nigeria. My phone numbers are plus 234-70-19055-189. That is my WhatsApp number. Other number is plus two three four seven zero six nine two three eight two six nine. That is my second number. So with these numbers, you can make your comments. You can call me. I will pick your call and I will reply to your comments. Please do me a favor again by pressing the red button below and subscribe. Please do that for me now so that we proceed. Thank you. Have you done that again? God bless you. I love you. And God loves you better. Now, if you know you are born in those three, within these three months, that is April 20 to May 20, August 23 to September 22, December 22 to January 19, listen carefully now. Those people that are born in those months, they are leaders. They are leaders. They are leaders. Number two, they are bankers. It doesn't mean they can work in the, they, they can operate banks. Which, what I mean is this. They are bankers. They keep money. People keep money with them. People keep resources with them. People keep properties with them. People keep things with them. Please hold for me. Hold for me. Hold for me. Keep for me. Keep for me. So they are resources keepers. Number three, 
And they love saving themselves. They love to save money. They love to save money. Number four, and people save money into their custody. People can just voluntarily and keep money with them. Please, daddy, please, mommy, please, sister, please, brother, keep this money for me. So that is one of the criteria of those people that are born in those months. Number five, they are not contented in terms of money. Those people that are born in those months, don't play with them with money. They are not contented. If they have one million naira today, they are not contented at all. They want to see how they can invest that one million naira to become 10 million. So they love money. So they, they invest money to get more, more, much money. Number six, they are investors. They like or they love investing. They love investment. To keep money on investment that will yield them huge amount of profit. Number seven, they are liability carriers. They take care of many people. They take care of many people. They can take care of their mother, their father, their siblings. All those things lies on them. What I mean is this. In the family, it could be the only one that will be responsible for the caring of their mother, their father, their sibling, the school fees, the other things. It's him that will be responsible. So they are liability carriers in their families. Number eight, they are created into the world to feed the world. They are created into the world to feed the world. So God has blessed them with money. God bless them with everything. So people depend on them. People depend on them. They all depend on them. Brother will come to them for assistance. Sister will come to them for assistance. Even friends, they will come to them for assistance. So they feed people. God really bless them. Number nine, they are always fine at the higher position. They are always fine at the top. At the top. Controlling money. Number ten, and if they refuse to help their family, then their ways will be blocked. If you fail to, to, to help your family, maybe your sister, your brother, your sibling, you are harshing on them. You are, you are complaining. Are you the only one? Then your road will block. Because you are the mother of the earth. You are to feed the world. You need not to complain. Next one. Number 12. They must not be harsh to people. Anybody that comes to you for assistance, don't harsh on them. If you have, give. Givers don't lack. If you have, give. Don't refuse. Don't harsh. I'm not the only one. You want to kill me? Go and meet your sister. Go and meet your mother. Go and meet your father. Go and meet your so person. Am I the only millionaire in the, in the family? Am I the only one that has the money in the family? Do you want to kill me? No. If you do that, your road will block. Number 13. They are mothers of the whole world. They are mothers of the whole world. Which means people depend on them. So they care, they are good in caring. They are very good in caring. You, see, you know how mother cares for their children. That is how those people care, looks like. You will see if they have children. They love their children so much. They love their children so much. Yes, those people born in those three months, they admire their family. They admire their children. Now, by 14, the females amongst you, every female born in, within those three months must perform the following sacrifice 
if they want to have peace in their lives. I listen, listen again. Females, all females born within these three months, they must perform the following sacrifice if they want to experience peace throughout their lives. Maybe in their marital home, in their profession, peace of mind, they must perform the following sacrifice. One, you need to be killing ram, white ram, pure white, without any color, pure ram. You dig a ground, then let the blood of the white ram enter into the ground, to the hole you are dug. White, pure white ram. You need to be cleaning it, oftenly. If you don't have the money to kill a white ram, then you can kill a white chicken, pure white chicken, without any blemish of color. You kill it oftenly, or there is a belt titled a a 2 in Yoruba language. I wouldn't know the name in English, but those listening to me now, please meet a Yoruba person to explain the meaning of a a 2 to you. So you can also use a a 2 to kill and let the blood touch the ground. This is what they need. If you want to experience peace in your marital home, or if you want to experience peace in your business. Now, as you kill the animal, then you'll be praying, you will pray, you pray for yourself. Pray for yourself, what you don't like, what you want, pray. And believe in me, things will begin to happen in your life. Good things. They are glory carrier. Their glory is so shy, so big, so marvelous. So, and they always have attack. People are always attacking them. Why? It's not because they hate them. It's because of their glory. It is the glory that is giving them tough time. It is their glory that is giving them problems. Because people don't want their glory to manifest. That's the reason you are having problems. You are having an attack. And they always have plenty enemies. When you say, I'm not saying enemy. E-N-E-M-Y. No. I mean E-N-E-M-I-E-S. Enemies, plural. Many, plenty enemies. They have it. Why? Because of their glory. And if they want their way to open, if they want their way to be smoothly, if they want to break through, they must not do the following things. Number one, they must be keeping their covenant. If they promise people or they promise to do something in the church, in the mosque or anywhere, or they promise anybody, if they fail to fulfill that promise, then it will affect their glory. It will affect their destiny. There's no way it will affect their destiny. So if you are hearing me now, you are promised somewhere, either in the church, in the mosque, or somebody, even your husband, even your children, you are promised there, and you fail to fulfill those promises. Beloved, sisters, it will affect your destiny. Things will be going down for you. Now, what are the things you must not do? I mean, those people born within those three months, what are the things you must not do? If you do them, it will affect the road of your destiny. And there's no amount of prayer you can pray unless it will stop doing that, those things. And if you are a business woman or businessman and you are doing that thing, that your business will collapse. What are those things? You must not cook on the ground. You must not make fire on the ground. Yoruba, they call it aru. You must not make fire on the ground. You can make use of gas cooker, electric cooker. You can even put it on the ground. But to make fire, wood fire on the ground, if you try it, or you are a caterer, 
you have a canteen and you cook, you make your fire wood on the ground. Believe in me, that your canteen restaurant will collapse. Problem will start generating from it because your destiny does not like that. So if you are watching me now and you are doing that, take correction. Now, what are the remedies? If you find out that roads are close to you and those things I say you should not do, you don't do them. If you find out that roads are close to you, things are so hard to eat, it's so hard for you, or you are a male, you don't have wife, or you are a female, there's no husband, it's promise and fail, it's promise and fail, it's promise and fail. You have one man today who disappoint you, or you have a, a woman today who disappoint you, or nobody's even calling you to marry you, nobody's even asking for your love. What do you do? Listen now, what do you do? Before we proceed, my beloved, look at the red button below and press. You will see a red button there, press and subscribe. If you subscribe, they are giving me the joy to put more video for you. Have you done that before we continue? I will give you for some few minutes to press that red button so that we can proceed. I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for that, my sister. That, my brother, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, thank you. God bless you. I love that. Now, what must you do? You buy original bottle of honey. One original bottle of honey. You buy it. Buy one packet of sugar. Set loose one packet of sugar. Then you buy salt, one paint of salt, cooking salt, sea salt. You buy one paint of it. Then you buy white corn, one paint, white corn, not red corn, white corn. Then you buy guinea corn, white. Then you buy zero white. You have done that? Good. You buy one yard of white cloth. One yard of white cloth. If you have done that, then you dig a ground. Dig a ground that will contain that white cloth. Dig that ground. Spray the, white, the one yard of white cloth. Spray it inside the ground you dug. When you have sprayed it inside the ground you dug, then pour your salt inside on the white cloth. Pour your salt on it. Pour your one bottle of original honey on it. Then that one packet of set loose sugar you bought, remove four, four, four cubes. One, two, three, four. Remove four cubes inside the packet and drop it on top of that honey on the ground you dug. If you have done that, then you start praying. Pray. What are your prayer? You pray like this. You this earth, I seek your faith for. You this earth, I seek I. You mention your name and your mother's name. I so so person, mention your name and your mother's name. Seek your favor today. Sickness, sadness, failures in marriage, failures in business, disappointment, hardship, unemployment. Begin to measure things you know they are affecting you. I bury you here now, inside this hole. I bury you now. I am no longer your candidate. I, we have been separated now. Begin to pray. When you are prayed, then you cover 
it with the ground, with soil, cover it with soil. You are going to do this at exactly 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. in the morning. If you are true, if you have done that, then you cover it with, with soil. Then you now go back, take a white basin, white basin, or anything container, like a contained the one page of your white corn, one page of a unicorn, one page of jero, pour everything inside. Use your hands, your two hands, and mix them together. Mix them together. And put the remaining cube of sugar. No, you are removed four. The remaining one, pour it inside. Mix them together. Then put little salt. Mix them together. Then begin to pray. Pray your heart desire. As from today, I shall be blessed. Who sees me shall bless me. Begin to pray for yourself. I refuse disappointment. Begin to pray for yourself. Once you have prayed, once it is 5 a.m., you go to the roadside, the street, where people are passing. Around 5 a.m., spread everything. Use your hand to spray it on the floor. Spray it on the floor. As you are spraying it, the fowl of the sky, the chicken, the animals, they are coming to eat them up. As they are eating it up, your prayer is answering. The bear will eat, animals will eat. Spray them. As you spray them, then you go back home. Don't follow where you are spraying those things. Take another route to your house. God bless you. Once again, my names are Prophet Olorundare Raphael, founder of Mountain of Renewal and Upliftment, Ogo State in Nigeria. My number once again are plus 234-70-19-055-189. That's my WhatsApp number. The second one is plus 234-70-69-23-0-0. Eight two six nine. That's my number. Make your comment. I will reply you. Ask your questions. I will reply you. Please share this video to every group you belong to. Let them benefit from it. Share it to all your groups. Share it to your mother. Share it to your father. Share it to your siblings. Share it to your friends. Share it all over. Don't keep it with you. This is part one. Part two is coming. I'll be, you be, you, I'll be expecting you also to watch. Part 3 is coming. Part 4 is coming. So if you are not born within those 3 months, don't bother yourself. Yours is coming. And then part 2, part 3, or part 4. God bless you. And remain blessed.